As quirky as this sounds, the first thing when I, what I do when I get out of bed at 4.15 in the morning, I put my two feet down and I say, thank you. Thank you for giving me this another day to make a difference. In the <laughs> thank you for making, allowing me to have a, to make a difference in the life of a child, whether it's social emotional learning, whether it's the math fact, whether it's um, just saying, hey buddy, or I care about you. And what allows me to get up every morning is I put a smile on my face. Not only does it take less muscles, right? It makes me healthier. And when kids see teachers smile, they say, and this is a quote from some kids in my room, I want that teacher that smiles. And that matters. It really matters that kids are not only wanting to and they need to learn how to read and write and sing and dance and be themselves. But the love of learning every single day and wanting to come back and do that. And, and that's what allows me to get up and say, I what? Another day? I get another chance? It's like a do-over? Or if it wasn't right the first time? Or how am I going to make it better? Or how am I going to build on a student's success? And I get a chance to do that? Hip hip hooray. Let's go. Let's get let's get get it done. And so I think a child that comes into a classroom where they know that they're going to be accepted, loved no matter who they are, what you know, nationality or color of their skin or socioeconomic background, and they know for six, seven hours, Mr. Merkwitz cares, that is the biggest joy that I have and I know that I'm a successful educator. You can take all the test scores you want, you can measure this and measure that, but you know what? My job and my philosophy is I am going to do what it takes to get that kid to be the, the best that they can for that year and get them to a success point like no other and with a belief that, wow, I can do it. I can. That's uh, a highlight of my year with second grade.